Hello, oh, my name is Pony7, and welcome back to IO2, the Battle of uh, Kuban, and the Blazing Step campaign. Last time, well, um, we finally got there past uh, there beyond the river after not getting shot in the back for um, attempting to help a friendly flight, which is always a good thing, not getting shot in the back for helping out a flight. And this time, it's business as usual, and it appears that there's going to be some bombers up and about just reading through the uh, fluff text, which is fluff text, and so maybe inaccurate. Who knows? Uh, I guess we'll find out in a little bit. And then comes the group of the 11th and 9th Gap, uh, sorting to conduct air patrol over northern and central areas of Stalingrad, your leader of the first flight. Alright then, well, that's simple enough. I will break things off here. And I'll bring you back for takeoff. Alright, welcome back. We are clear for takeoff. There goes the P 40. There we go. Right, apparently, the fuel mixture is uh, not good enough. Stay with me, Jack IR, please, and thank you. Alright, 150. And pull up. Pull up, please. Alright, we're in the air at least. I'm having to use the uh, arrow case for the moment just to get off the ground. Right, let's hand it over to the aisle pilot. Well, I'm going to uh, just make sure the stick's working and all that. And I'll bring you back once we encounter the enemy. So we'll see you uh, then. Alright, welcome back. We got, uh, well, first fighters and then also uh, another group coming in. Oh, don't, don't take a head on. I don't want to show off the new damage effects today, if I can help it. They've driven away, good. These go through, followed by two. Let's roll for two. You are good. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. yeah he's faster than us. Which is, uh, actually, maybe. At the very least, we've seen them off. Nope, we are very slowly closing. We're holding our energy better than he is. Which is good. And actually, you can see some of the new effects in play right now. The little oil radiating off the back. Come on, old yak. Keep closing on them. Maybe get him to demonstrate some uh, some of the new fire effects, and then if, if it does happen, I'll probably stick it at the front. Uh, someone's going somewhere. Mixture's hundred. Hundred percent throttle. speculative shots, maybe trying to get them to do something other than just turn. And that got him to do something other than just turn, he's uh, well, delving away a little bit. Oh, because there's another guy coming in. Hello, friendly the yak. That's poor shooting. I think I got a hit in there, or should have. Possibly gotten ahead. Uh, nope, no hits. There's a hit. He's uh, leaking fuel, I think. Yeah, that's coming from the center. That's fuel. Uh, there's another 109 in the area, though he's running. 
we got to get 109 on us. The rudder rod's broken. Where's he gone? He's pulled away. That's where he's gone. All right, we are now leaking fuel. Yeah, he's up there. Oh, the tone things down ever so slightly here in the office because I've noticed a little tiny little bit of uh, stuttering here and there. Still burning. Not burning, uh, leaking. He's pulled away. How's our fuel looking? Which one's even the fuel gauge? I'm no longer certain which was the fuel gauge in the yak. Uh, he's coming back in again. Go to careful with the stall it. At this altitude. Especially since the rudder is broken. That run my pilot is being smart. He's blowing through and then coming back in again. Because he knows that he can't match the yak really in a turning fight. He'll just sit on his tail all day. So he's uh, blowing in and out. Like for the rudder to work. The rudder doesn't work though. Because the rods are broken. Although now he's kind of turning. Oh, that's because that guy was there. We got a lag passing through. Very busy airspace. I just kind of impressed that we're holding uh, 300 uh, kilometers per hour in this turn. Uh, no hits. I got maybe hit there. It's kind of hard to uh, aim a little bit too when the rudder is probably jammed partially over to the uh, right. Uh, it doesn't seem to be leaking anything else. Watch the engine cool with time. I've been running this engine hard. Those are high. I think I'm out of ammunition for one of the guns. Nope. They're all still firing. I'm just not leaving enough. Or maybe I'm leaving too much. Someone else is shoulder shooting, I think. Yep, yeah, he's shoulder shooting. He's kind of straightening out. Yep, there he goes. Now he's leaking as well, although I think that's a water leak for his uh, cooling system, not an actual fuel leak like we've got. I accidentally confirmed the lag there. Sorry, lag. Didn't mean to. Turns the fuel gauge still. I think it's the lower left one, but it shows itself plenty of fuel. So I'm not too worried, plus there's still enemy fighters around. Although it is harder to fight, so like I can't just kind of rudder over. Maybe a hit? Can't really tell. Yeah, this is the guy we were on earlier as well. It's close and close and close. All 
right, when the guns is out of ammunition. I think I'm scoring hits, but I'm not certain. It's hard to tell. It's very hard to tell when I'm, when I'm on scoring hits. Oh, there comes another yak. It's kind of high yo-yo at this a little bit. Up and then back down, gain some energy. I think he's got two leaks going on now. I think he's got maybe a fuel and a water leak. Maybe. It's very hard to tell. Especially since they've added the new effects in. They're no longer quite as distinct from each other. There is the friendly yak right behind us. Because I was wondering about him, I lost track of him. Uh, this is going nowhere. I can tell that. Oh, and look, there's another friend showing up. We need to put him down. Yeah, I think he's got two water leaks. Maybe two fuel leaks. Or both. Rudder, why did you fail me? That, yeah. I probably should just save with the aircraft. Yeah, probably would have been better just to stay with the aircraft. Probably might have actually survived that. But I guess I'll bring you back for another attempt. Because that really didn't go as well as I hoped it would. Alright, welcome back. It appears that we've gotten here this time a little bit faster than the fighters have. Because, looky down there. It's planes that are red. I'm guessing these are stukas. That would be my guess. Nope, they are brown on G2s. Okay. That's something I didn't expect. I thought they might have been Stukas or something this low. But now they're in a turning cut with LA-5s. Well, since we're over here already... Oh, and he's just turning in. Because we are, you know, going fairly fast. I prefer to actually have a good shot at hitting my targets. Uh, apparently Gelma 8, which is one of the LA-5s, got one. Uh, maybe two. And come on now, then, yeah. Let's not let them show up, show them up too badly. Their fancy LA fives. I gotta remember now. I actually got rudder again. I got a hit, I think. It's very hard to aim when he's flying into the sun. Another hit. Again. There we go, got a fuel leak. There goes his wing. Alright, more targets over there. Another G2. And then of course there's the uh, other fighters that are going to be showing up eventually. When? I don't know. But eventually they'll show up. In fact, they may have already and then bug it off. Who knows? I don't. Alright, so GT's on our yak. Oh, there they are, up there. Coming behind. Maybe a hit, but I'm doubting it. Let's start checking six now. Since there is the, those fighters coming in. I 
I think those are low. Oh, there's a ducks. Hello, ducks. And we got those 109s up there. So those are bombers that uh, they were talking about in the blurb. We also got those 109s coming down. All the German fighters and aircraft just in general, they don't attack. But though we are tasked with dealing with the fighters. Maybe a hit. I got a couple hits that time for certain. He's leaking gas. He fell behind, I think that was the, yeah. No, he's right there, that was the LA-5. Good job, LA-5. Go at 9. There's two F-4s there, one just hit the trees. Good job. Well done. And there's not really any fighters about at this exact moment to fight, so... Hello, ducks. Are you going to quack for me today? Uh, any quacking? No quacking yet, so that's good. Uh, flying into the sun. It's very hard to see. There's the crosshairs, but I've overshot this duck in particular. Plus, I think that duck has uh, damaged engines, maybe. Then again, it could just be all ducks in general have engines that have problems, considering well, they're French ones. And times that I've flown the duck, I have had uh, great troubles with the engines. Uh, that duck's trying to turn with me. The sly devil. If trap air would work. I had a good shot there, but trap air decided, nope, not going to work today. Not this time. Why are you losing track so much, trap air? Don't, don't get shot down by ducks. That would be quite the embarrassment. I don't know why Chuck Iyer is doing what he's doing, but I should like it to stop doing what he's doing. Uh, you are closer. Got a couple hits, but nothing major. Right, there's one on nines around up here. Up and over we go. 109, 109, check out please. 129. Let's break for this one on nine. Who is broken away right as we broke for him? because uh, he's going after that LA5. Missed head on shots at him. Let's stick on this F4. Swift 5 got one. Good job, Swift 5. Let's see him. There he is there. I prefer to be closer before I try shooting. Come closer, closer to you, Doom. Keep this turn up. Alright, one of the guns is empty. I believe it's the cannon that's empty. Oh, got, got a hit. But now all I got left is, uh, well, the pretty little, uh, machine guns. 7.62s, I think. I'm gonna chew him to death. Bit by bit. Little bit by bit. Come on. 
think I got a hit. Then again, these are just so small rounds that unless I hit something critical like the uh, pilot, they're not going to do very much. Oh, there we go. We got a fuel leak. Or maybe a water leak. Who knows? I don't. Although he's also appeared to slow down. My voice will damage his engine. And the game also appears to have suddenly started running smoother. Don't know what that's about. Uh, more water leaks? Oh yeah, those are those radiators. Don't know why the game suddenly started running smoother. But I hit again. And he's leaking fuel, and the guy took it to his brain. He also appears to be going. No, he's just trying to dive away, that's what he's doing. He really is death by a thousand cuts when you're just down to machine guns. You don't have any cannon left. And they're not even 50 cal machine guns, they're just 7.62 machine guns. There he is there. Throw back on. Maybe because it moved just far enough away from the fire effect that it's not really affecting it as much. He's having problems, I think, staying up airborne. Yeah, he's down. Scratch another 109. And it's time to go home because we got very little ammunition left. So I will break things off here as they continue fighting. And I'll bring you back once we, uh, we'll make it back to land. So I will see you then. Alright, welcome back. We are just coming in for landing. Well, starting our approach to land. Though we're still going way too fast for uh, actual landing itself. Because, well, we're, we were doing 500 uh, kilometers an hour when I started this recording. We're now only down to 350. Which is, I'm pretty sure, still too fast for the gear on this thing. I think it's like 300 maybe for the gear on this thing. Yeah, because it's saying raise the landing gear. So everyone, I might bet too fast. There we go. And clap released. And gear down. And gear down. And lock the tail wheel. Uh, we're still actually fast for descent on landing, although I am also nose down, which is what you shouldn't really be doing. You should be more like this. Even then, I think I'm off slightly on this approach. Yeah, I'm high. I'm gonna dive for the, dive for the deck a little bit. Which is generally a no-no on carriers and such, but this is not a carrier, so I don't have to worry about it uh, smashing me while I'm uh, coming in and diving for the deck by rising up at the same time. Don't have to worry about the, for that happening. And not quite a perfect landing, but uh, it will do. It will do. So we're just gonna roll her off the runway. The rest of the flight was still, last I saw, chasing waterfalls and rainbows and chasing the uh, the uh, bombers back to their base or something. Although Swift 5 did report out of ammunition. But, there we go. And I think that's uh, Swift Flight there, coming in now. So 
engine off. Open the canopy. And that is another mission complete. Despite, uh, well, minus one yak due to a crash the first attempt, but we got through the second time. But I'd like to uh, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. And yep, that's uh, Swift Flight there.